Hello Super Set Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. Let's cut to the chase. There's a strong consensus that the 2023 Mr. Olympia title is likely going to be claimed by one of these five guys. Without further ado, let's see what these guys could be bringing to the table based on their best recent showings in this ultimate 2023 five-way comparison. Front double biceps. Given the time constraints judges face during these stage callouts, we'll rely on our instincts without dwelling too long in each pose. In this comparison for each pose, I'll split this callout into two distinct groups. One battling for the top spot in the pose and the other battling to stay clear of the last position. In my view, battling to win the pose are Derek, Samson and Andrew, while Hadi and Nick, despite boosting the best arms in the group, are battling to avoid last place. For this first pose, claiming our last spot is the current Mr. Olympia Hari Chupan, as I believe Nick presents a more compelling overall front double biceps pose. In third place, I'm placing Samson Dauda. Despite having better balance, he lacks the wow factor that Derek and Andrew bring to the table. Andrew Jack takes the win in the front double biceps against Derek Lansford. Both showcase outstanding packages, but my eyes keep gravitating towards Andrew. So I'm trusting my gut feeling on this one. Front lat spread pose. Battling for the first spot are Samson, Hadi and Andrew, while Derek takes 4th and Nick 5th, because there's no doubt Nick is the weakest by far in this pose. Hadi secures 3rd place, as it seems he's no match for the other two guys, at least based on our picture comparison. Andrew Jack secures victory once again, appearing to be the best in the world today when viewed from the front in optimal conditioning. Samson takes 2nd place in this pose. Next up is the side chest pose with Samson, Hadi and Nick battling for the top spot while Derek and Andrew strive to avoid landing in last place. Andrew may seem like your next Mr. Olympia from the front but in this first side pose he finds himself in last place. Derek's lower body definition as opposed to Andrew's side leg ensures he stays clear of the last position. Hadi secures 3rd place, lacking the arm and shoulders needed to compete with Samson and Nick. In the showdown between Samson and Nick, it's a tough call. Samson clearly takes the pegs, but Nick's overall thickness, especially with those massive arms and shoulders, gives him the edge. Nick also presents a superior lower body, making him my pick for 1st place, while Samson lands in 2nd in this pose. Exciting news Superset Maniacs, I've launched a store featuring the coolest Superset Man design apparel, perfect for gym or street fashion. Don't miss out. Check it out on the store tab right on my channel page or find the direct link in the video description below. Grab your Superset Man gear now. Back double biceps and this is where the taller guys take a step back against the three shorter guys. Fighting to avoid last place are Samson and Andrew while the other three guys fight for first. Andrew takes the last spot as Samson clearly outshines him in the hams and lower body overall. The upper body is a close call but both still have some work to do. Hadi secures third place as I feel he's no match for Nick and Derek in this pose at least based on these pictures. Derek vs Nick is a tight race. While Derek might have the slightest advantage, through the back Nick outshines him in the limbs. I stand by my opinion that Nick boosts the best back double in the world today. Derek is a very close second. In the back last spread pose, once again Samson and Andrew find themselves at the bottom, with Samson edging out Andrew, mirroring the previous back pose. In this other back pose, Nick Walker falls short compared to both Derek and Hardy, as he presents a more narrow physique. Even though it's a close call between Derek and Hardy, my point goes to Hardy as his back appears wider and thicker. However, it's a slight loss again for Derek in this other back pose. He could have easily won them both. Side triceps. Tough choice. All look impressive, let's break it down. Focusing on the lateral head, Derek and Andrew seem to be the least impressive, 
Andrew, despite having a more defined upper body, takes the last spot due to his front tricep stance. It's a tough call, they all look good, but we have to make a call. So, Derek is in fourth. Between Samson, Hardy and Nick, I'm leaning towards Nick as the overall winner with Hardy a close second and Samson a close third. Abs and ties and we're back to a front pose and back with Andrew Jack securing the win in a front pose. I can't see it any other way, all the other guys are fighting to avoid last place. Based on the abs and ties combo, I'm placing Hardy in second, Nick in third, Derek in fourth and Samson in last place. In the most muscular pose, there's a front pose where Andrew doesn't quite embody the Mr. Olympia vibe. He's battling Derek and Hadi to avoid last place this time, while I see Samson and Nick battling for the top spot in this pose. I believe Derek is last though. He looks off-season through the upper body here. Andrew is on fourth place as Hadi's overall definition, especially through the chest, is too much for him. So Hadi is in third. Between Samson and Nick, just like in the side chest where arm and thickness and chest come into play, because I went with Nick in the side chest, I'm going to choose Samson this time. Nick looks awesome, but Samson feels this pose out very well and he deserves a win in this comparison after all. The final score looks like this. In last place we have both Derek and Andrew with 27 points. It's also a 4-4 tie between them in terms of outplacing each other in every pose, so there's no tiebreaker between them at this point. Last place for Derek might seem a bit harsh, but stay tuned, after we finish the entire lineup, I'll provide two alternative final scores, taking into consideration Derek winning the back poses, where he was very very close. Let's continue now, in third place we have Samson Dauda with a total of 24 points. Battling for first place remain Hardy and Nick, but Nick emerges as the final winner with 20 to 22 points. Based on our picture comparison and tallying the placement in each mandatory pose, Nick Walker emerges as the most complete bodybuilder. Now let's explore an alternative scenario. If we awarded Derek the two back poses, he could have secured only fourth place, with the rest of the placings remaining the same. He fell short to the third place finisher Samson by just one point. For all you Derek fans, let's also consider that Nick Walker would have won the most muscular against Samson, which I think many of you would uh, agree with. This would indeed make Derek and Samson tie for third. Anyway, these are just some alternative scenarios for more flexibility, where I stand by my initial result as the conclusion of this video.